we are live. Now, I'm at home this week, working on my corner. Here's Chrissy. Oh, yay. Hello, friends. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I should turn up my volume. I'm good. Yeah, just getting all of our supplies ready for today's class. Awesome. Our yeah. Our, our chit chat, right? Our chit chat. I'm so used to doing classes today. I'm like, oh, it's another class. It's like, no, nope, it's our chit chat. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we have fun. So we feel like yeah. everything just feels like a chit chat. Hi, Darshna, my cousin. Wow, she made it. Thank you. Um, I, I, did you, so did you make your recipe? The hot I hot did chip? not make my recipe. I have it here for us to make together. Awesome. So. That's really cool. Of course, because yeah. that's what we do. I, yeah. I made um, an ummy version because you know, it was a little gray outside, so I just turned the twinkle lights on on the inside. And I was like, you know, I don't want to go to the grocery store today. So I used <laughs> what I had. Luckily, I had, uh, hello, um, is Nalu. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Rebecca. Jacqueline. Hello. And Sidley. Um, so I used peppermint oil, and I noticed I ran out of oat milk. So I had a little <laughs> thing of, like, oats from this brec for breakfast this morning. Yeah. So I added water, and I blended it and just made my own oat milk and hey, just improvised. <laughs> right? Yeah, that with stevia. And then in mine, I added chocolate and coconut flakes. So it looks right. like I have snow in a cup. I'll, I'll have to show you when I flip yeah, the camera yeah, around. Definitely. Hi, Jean. All right. So what does your mug say today? Oh, mine says... It's rainbow colored, too. What is it? It's rainbow colored, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. I feel like they're your <laughs> colors. Yeah, it says, it you make my heart happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. Yeah. Um, so we're excited because last week we did cranberries. And I wonder if any of our friends had a chance to make it or try it out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did anybody make the cranberry tea that we made last week? You can give us a little wave in the chat. So, so I know Jacqueline just put a heart in there. Um, does that mean you made the cranberry tea? <laughs> <laughs> if not, you have, you can make it any time. But it tasted like candy. It was so funny because when I made it at the friend's house who I was at last mm -hmm. week, he kept pouring extra water in it because he wanted more <laughs> of it, like, by the end of it. I was, I couldn't yeah. believe it tasted like candy. It was so good. Um, yeah. but, it was yeah. tasty. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And it was too good to know it was for teeth decay. I'm sure minus yeah. the maple syrup, but. <laughs> yeah, well, but the thing that I've read is as long as you're, you're making sure that you're getting these things that are giving your teeth strength, strength to hold up against the sugar, like it kind of balances out on some level. Ooh. Not that we should be having tons of sugar, but like it does kind of balance it up. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I'm not we... eat like a candy bar every hour or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. I feel like I was that kid when I was little, unchaperoned, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot health wise. But um, yeah, so this week the color is green. And um, 
thank you, Chrissy, for the matcha. So I, yeah. I prepped it. Um, yeah. It actually ended up being a tea bag. I thought it was powder in there, but it was actually a tea bag when I like opened one up to try it the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what you had wanted, right? Well, I, I knew that people were going to have a hard time necessarily finding matcha powder because, like, I have matcha powder. It comes in a little little tin is how I got mine, but it comes from, like, the Asian food stores. And I know not everybody is as blessed as I am to have that many Asian grocery stores near them. <laughs> yeah, totally not. It was, like, um, my childhood friend, oh, she just popped on. She lives in Canada, and she, like, misses – the American grocery stores like crazy. Yeah. I told her how about Valleys the other day and she was like the queen of going to Valleys. And so I'm she's like, Valleys, I miss that place. <laughs> but like Trader Joe's, I saw sells matcha. Um, yes, I did hear that from a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Um, but okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around and then we can get started all right you guys so we are going to be making our matcha mint hot chocolates today and like emmy was saying we are making uh we're focusing on green today so matcha is this pretty green color and everything and it's super nutritious and has lots of nutritional value which is wonderful and so today we're going to be making our mint hot chocolate and with the matcha. And then the thing is, if you are buying the matcha powder, it's very, very important that we use like a little sift because we want to make sure that it gets blended in really nicely to our hot chocolate because we don't want any clumps of it. So I've got some milk here and I'm going to go ahead and measure out two cups because that way I can have a little sip of it now, and then I'll probably save it and do some in the morning because matcha does contain some caffeine. So I don't want to have too much tonight because then I won't sleep. So we've got two cups of milk, and you can use whatever kind of milk you enjoy using. I know Emmy said she did oat milk, and I think coconut milk would be another great one for this. Um, I have two options today. Um, Emmy introduced me to Lily's chocolate, and Lily's chocolate is sweetened more naturally. It's got stevia in it, so it doesn't cause a blood sugar spike and stuff. But they have a seasonal one right now that is peppermint, so I thought that would be perfect for my hot chocolate today. So if you just have a little chocolate chip, that will work too. So I'm just going to unwrap my chocolate bar here. That's my peppermint. But if you just had the white chocolate, you could go ahead and put some peppermint extract in there, or you could also do some peppermint essential oils, the ones that are edible because they're not all. And I'm doing is I'm just breaking up the pieces. And we were talking last week about breaking up with habits. And we were talking about the fact that sometimes breaking up with habits can be hard and difficult. And that there's a detox period, which brings us to our green color. The green is going to help us work through the detox and clean our bodies out. So I've got my mint and my milk in here all set to go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat this up. I'm not going to add the matcha or my sweetener, which today I'm going to be adding some maple syrup. I'm going to see how sweet it is after the chocolate melts down, because I don't want to have it be too sweet. So I'm just going to put this on the stove on medium heat. Also, I put it on the right flame. And so I'm just going to let that kind of heat. I've got a spoon here that I'm going to go ahead and keep an eye and stir that. Um, but we want to make sure we have it on medium to low heat so that the chocolate doesn't burn, because white chocolate especially likes to burn. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And I just realized I also am going to be adding salt. So you always want to add a little bit of salt to balance out the sweetness and anything that you have that's sweet. So what are you making over there, Emmy? I am, I'm trying to see how this green tea is working out. I kind of just did it a few hours ago. 
I feel like I should have done it yesterday. Uh, maybe for it to. Can you see it? Is it even visible? No, it's still there. It's just it's more of a yellowy color. It's not necessarily a dark green. Yeah, I man, Pinterest, they probably cheated <laughs> <laughs> with that vibrant green. We'll have to figure out who does that um, yeah. powdery thing. I like, think if you were to put, like, if you were to break up some, like, Coralina or Spirulina tablets to add with it, that would probably make it a darker green, too. That's true, too. That's true. I'm just, like, I guess I was curious. Um about the color too and I'm sure too like are there different grades of matcha yes there are different grades of matcha thank you for talking about that because I almost forgot to mention that so you want so the there are different kinds so the matcha that's the brighter green that's more of the ceremonial matcha tea um, and it's a better quality um, it's also a little bit more expensive because um, the process of making matcha is a lot more intense than making most teas. And so that's why the price is a little bit higher on it. And matcha comes from Japan. Ah, that makes sense. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and use my green watercolor. There we hey, go. Hey, that works. <laughs> yeah. Like, so we're think... talking about beans today. And what was it like growing up in your house? Did you eat a lot of beans or me? Um... It's it's funny that you mention that because growing up in my house, I grew up vegetarian. And funny enough, I guess my parents were really, really busy. And, like, we get, like, the regular rice doll and, like, a green. But then, like, for lunch, it would always be, like, Doritos and a bunch of snacky snacks. And I feel like... <laughs> Um, there, yeah, and, like, because they were so busy, we weren't always chaperoned, so most of my diet was, like, um, junk food, and so only recently, till, um, after dating my love and having a bunch of health challenges, um, it came to light that, wow, I really have to learn how to eat. What about you? Yeah, so we had a couple questions in the chat that I want to just talk about really quick. So um, people had asked if it was a dark, if it was a darker green, if it had more caffeine. I am not actually sure on that. I don't know if it necessarily has more caffeine. So that's something I will look up and I will let you guys know next week, or I'll let you guys know on my my live on Wednesday. Um, what does matcha taste like? How would you describe it, Ami? Um, let's find out. I didn't take, oh, you <laughs> I didn't try it because it's like nighttime. Yeah. It's like a green tea. If you've ever had it, it's, um, well, this is straight up too, without the sugar and yeah. all of that. So I got like a mini taste of it. So it's a little pungent, would you say? Yeah, I, I think it depends on what kind and the concentration of water. But it does have that very green tea-like flavor to it. Um, it also, it kind of does have like a slight, I feel, grassy flavor to it, which I don't mind at all. Um, but again, it depends on how long you steep it and the quality as well. Um, but to get back to our questions about eating greens when we were young. Um, so I, I definitely ate salads growing up and I was just having this discussion with my mom today about how it was also not the best choice of lettuce that we had, which was icebergs, but that's what they had at the grocery stores at the time. So we definitely did have salads and we did have greens if you call iceberg green. <laughs> so yeah. It wasn't until I went to culinary school that we really discovered romaine, and it was like, oh, my goodness, this, this is real lettuce. This is, like, it actually has nutritional value instead of just water. Yeah, right? Yeah. And um, it's – and, like, speaking of nutritional value, it's so funny because I grew up with a lot of boys, like, 
cousins and stuff like that. And um, growing up, too, we were always told, oh, protein, we need tons of protein. And like, um, not that protein isn't important, but like, we, we kind of skipped over the whole nutritional value of greens or the importance of that. And then like, Remember that like 1980s total commercial and like they would have <laughs> like 80s or 90s and they'd show you tons of like veggies and salads and being like this little bowl of cereal has like this much um, fiber with like the greens. And then I think like later on you find out like Kellogg's and stuff like that had stuff equivalent to like wood chips. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very interesting the things we learn as they they expose more of what's really going on in the food industry. Yeah, it was, Jacqueline, it was quite interesting that we both are wearing green again today. Um, but yeah, we, we did initially plan on wearing the colors, but I think it's kind of worked. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Jacqueline, you, you mentioned that green, that matcha is very, like a lighter version of green tea. And I'd have to say I'd agree with that. Yeah, it is a little bit more mild. So I just pulled the hot chocolate off the stove, you guys. Um, so it's nice and steamy. So I may not be able to drink this right away. But before I do, I need to add in my matcha powder. If you just have a matcha bag, like this one comes in a bag and it's actually got a little satchel, you would go ahead and just steep that for like two to three minutes. But I have the matcha powder here, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a tablespoon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of the powder. So it's going to be quite a bit, but I do have two cups of milk here. So I've got my little sift because I want to make sure that I'm adding it through the sift so it gets very well mixed in. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and kind of take that in and stir it. And I don't want it to clump. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, see, it kind of looks like snow. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's floating. Yeah, it's so fun. It kind of looks like it's floating. Yeah, I have some marshmallows for my hot chocolate today, but I, if I had been really prepared, the recipe that I started to base my recipe off of actually ground the marshmallows, so it's kind of like s'mores, which is kind of fun. That is really fun. That's, like, super festive-y. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What else was the like thinking about um with like the greens we thought it would be funny to to um like are there any kids watching if so i'm sorry we're gonna swear <laughs> pardon us for a moment <laughs> yeah like because we're all about sending 2020 out with love so like let that love. shit go and <laughs> right yeah we said it and and that's what <laughs> greens are really, really good at. And, um, and like, what were we talking about the other day about, like, the importance of nutrition and, like, what they do with, like, how our body really, really craves nutrients? Yes, yeah, our bodies, bodies do naturally crave nutrients. And when they don't have it, it tries to get us to eat things that they might think would fulfill that so like when we have our craving for chocolate it might actually be that we're craving magnesium and all these other vitamins and we're not making that connection but our body's way smarter than we are at times we just have to listen to it yeah so. definitely and like I think too like I think we we're also talking about how um like how a lot of people have cancer and, like, they're getting cancer and, like, how, like, their diets and um, gut bacteria, right? Yes, yes. So our gut bacteria, they need something special that is specifically in green. And it is multiple things. But one of the things I discovered is it's actually 
one of the things that causes us to produce digestive enzymes. And anybody who has any problems with gut health will know digestive enzymes are so, so important because they help us break down our food properly. And without digestive enzymes, we can't absorb stuff. And so like for me, I have a really hard time absorbing any nutrients from my food if I don't have enough digestive enzymes in my food or in my diet. So I actually have to supplement in my diet with digestive enzymes that you buy at the health food store. But if you can get enough from greens, then you don't have to take these supplements, which is wonderful. Yeah. So I've got my matcha tea here that I just added the matcha powder to. And I'm going to be adding just a little bit of salt to help balance it out. I've got my Celtic salt here that I like to use because it adds tons of nutrients and stuff that are usually stripped out of most salt. So I'm going to give it a quick little taste, you guys. I want to see where it's at. Probably not going to drink all of it tonight, but it smells really good because it's pepperminty. Yeah. Yeah. The pepperminty nest, it, like, I think that's what inspired me to subconsciously paint a Christmas tree. Hey, we are in December, you guys. So I like my hot chocolate to be a little bit sweeter than what this is. So I am going to add just a splash of some maple syrup in here. I could also use some coconut sugar, which, again, would be a great alternative because it's not going to cause your blood sugar to spike, which is always good. All right, so we've got our matcha hot chocolate. And if I want to make it complete, you guys, I need to add some marshmallows. So I've got some Dandy's marshmallows right here. I love these because they're gluten-free and they don't cause me any stomach problems. So we've got our hot chocolate, and you can't see my marshmallows because they're deep in the cup, but here's my little marshmallows. Aw, so cute. I know they're, oftentimes they're on sale at Whole Foods. Yes, Widman's is another great store for them, and they are on sale right now. <laughs> my cousin loves Widman's because they have one by their store, and like a long time ago when I went to his house, he was like really excited about Widman's. Is he on here? I don't even know. Um, I think he is. Right, Uncle? <laughs> but, um, yeah, because I have to check it out at some point. I haven't had a chance. Yeah, you, you would enjoy it. Oh, so the marshmallows that I'm using, Jean, they're called dandy. And I love them because they're free of most of the allergens, which would be awesome for your niece. I know she has a lot of allergens as well. And so these, they actually, use, they're vegan too, so they don't actually use egg whites like they normally would for marshmallows. So, but yeah, I love these because they're, they're, and they're gluten free too, which is wonderful. So, all right. So is everybody ready to let shit go? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I started painting, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that that emoji. That <laughs> yeah, that's what I started, but yeah. I, man, now I, I feel like I can't remember what that emoji looks like. It's it's a little like swirl, right? It is a little swirl. <laughs> it's little swirls, yeah. It looks like a pile. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. like chocolate at first, and then you discover yeah. what it yeah. is, it, right? It, it's not chocolate is not quite chocolate yeah how so, many times a day would you say what are some fun ways to pair greens into the diet to make sure well, and like people I, that are in a rush and I actually have some props here tonight you guys so I brought out some of the things that I like to use to get some greens in my diet so I've got some lovely flat leaf parsley here Easy to add some parsley when you're finishing off your meal. Like, that's a great way. And parsley is really great for it because it's very detoxing and it helps draw out metals and stuff out of your diet, too. And so it helps your body eat. Yes, it does look like chocolate mousse, doesn't it, Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> With eyeballs! Right, yeah. This is, this is going to be like the generic poop emoji that you would get at a flea market. It works. Not the authentic one, because it's, okay. it's like, you we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like, you see it, 
but um like i i vaguely remember what it's like and then <laughs> then when it comes down to doing it it's like what are the Somebody details? Somebody dropped one in the chat for you so you know what it looks like. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, my cousin is here, the one that loves yeah. Woodman's. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I have some parsley here. I also have some cilantro. That's another great way to add some greens into your diet. It's really easy. This is one of my mom's favorite ways to get greens in her diet. Pesto. Who doesn't love pesto? That's something that's easy to add to, like, a salad dressing or a dip. Or you can fit it out and make it a salad dressing. So you get greens on top of greens. Would be delicious. Um, celery, another great way to get some greens into your diet. And the thing that's nice about them is they also are really great for detoxing your body. Um, apples or green pears would be great too. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and then... I, I love sprouts. Do you like sprouts, Ami? Yeah, we do. Casey used to make sprouts. tons of them. And they're like, and something else to do that we're going to do recently um, or soon is just wrapping them in like rice paper, right? Just making fresh spring rolls. So then if you're in a hurry, um, you yeah. could just get it down. And like greens, they really help... Um, your blood flow and they help to clean your blood too right like antioxidants and they are really good for our hearts and helping our bodies do what they're supposed to do and um i love to add the the, the microgreens to my salads and stuff and i don't know if you've noticed yet or if you've seen it i mean but valley produce is actually carrying some local like local salad greens uh, the microgreens now oh do Which they they do. It was my fun little thing that I found. Um, what is my favorite way to eat sprouts? I like to put sprouts on my salad. Um, I'll also put them on sandwiches. If um, I'm eating any sort of scramble or something, would be good with it as well. Maybe a protein scramble or a beef scramble. That's always a great way to get it in. And then my new one that I started just this year that I really like is doing it through seaweed and kombu is one of my favorite ways to do it because it's so easy you guys you throw it in with your rice or your quinoa or whatever beans you're cooking and it infuses it into whatever you're cooking with all these delicious wonderful nutrients that you get from the seaweed, which i really like so I wanted to share something with you guys today that I just learned and I'm super excited about because I never thought about it. So greens are really great because they're high in beta carotene. Did anybody else know that? I Normally you think it's like in carrots and an orange, right? Well, what do leaves do during the fall? What colors do they change? Like orange and and red, right? Mm -hmm. So that beta carotene is in there all the time, and it's just hit it. And I never knew that until today, as I was like doing some research for this live, because I was like, I want to know more about greens. So greens are also really great for your skin because they help you glow because of the beta carotene as well. So if you want glowing skin, eat more green. That makes no. total sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what nutrients are for. Nutrients are for hair and um, skin and uh, digestion. You, wow. You wowed everybody. Chris. Yes. Well, I, like I, said, <laughs> I never thought about that. And it was like, it was one of those things I was reading and I was just like, oh my goodness, I, I did not know. Um, yeah. Somebody commented that they only thought beta carotene was in carrots. Um, we will be doing orange next week, but beta carotene is in anything that's orange. So carrots are just one of the things. Oranges, pumpkins, butternut squash, anything that's orange has beta carotene in it. And now we know that everything that's green also has beta carotene in it, which is awesome. 
So, um, yeah. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys, uh-oh, you freeze? Okay. Um, is that it also is a great natural sunscreen for you. By eating more greens, you protect yourself. And it keeps your skin nice and from burning. It's something not everybody knows. Wow, I never knew that. That's really yeah, cool. So much we can learn about greens, and we're just scratching the surface today. So yeah, totally, like it. It made a huge difference in my diet when I started adding more greens. Because before, it's like when you're not used to it, you think it's a waste of time and stuff like that. And another important point I remember when we were talking last is like the importance of having water, right? Like getting, literally getting your water. digestion moving and yeah. um, all which of that. Is, which, is, which is interesting because like during the summer when we're having summer produce, it's all very much full of water and we're eating it. And so we're absorbing that through eating all the, the summer produce. But when we start to get towards like fall and winter produce, they have less water because we're going to be cooking it. And so we're going to be adding moisture to it. Whereas in the summer, we don't necessarily cook everything. And we're just getting the moisture and the hydration through the foods like watermelon and cucumbers like that. So. Hmm. That's yeah. interesting. But I... did you know, Emmy, that greens are awesome for our brain? How so? I feel like I knew that, but I would have forgotten because normally I'm used to thinking that nuts are really good for the brain. Yes, nuts are great for the brain and so are blueberries. But they've actually done studies with greens and people who eat more greens, they, their brain is 11 years younger than those who do not. Oh, wow. So. Which is quite a bit. And they even, like, took out the factors of, like, lifestyle and, like, the education and their overall health. And even if they compared people at the same level, their brains were still better, which I thought was amazing because, I mean, I want to have my brain fully functioning and doing what it's supposed to till, till the end. <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely. Like going off the mini emoji. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to paint yeah, like 11 years. I don't know why it was 11 years, but that was the magical number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're eating a salad now. Yes. Salads are so good. And they're great for eating in the evening too, because you don't want to eat anything too heavy before you go to bed. Cause your body's going to have to break that down. So, and you'll have weird dreams. <laughs> No. Yeah. Um, but so how 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 often should we be go letting things go? Does anybody know how often we should be letting things go from our bodies? <laughs> like apparently I remember <laughs> hearing it I think from my Ayurvedic doctor like or you who was it? Somebody I was talking to I said I know you've talked about it recently and the fact that we should be um, releasing stuff from our body after every meal if our digestion is good. Yeah. So and, if your digestion is not. <laughs> yeah, and it's weird because it's like all these ways, like foods, it's weird because like there's reasons why some foods should be paired together and some shouldn't. So I feel like some of that kind of affects um, a like affects letting shit go. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because certain things, certain foods should not be paired together. And it depends on your body. But I know in Ayurvedic teachings and everything, they're like you're never supposed to have milk and fruit in the same like meal. Like they're supposed to be separate. Um but yeah. we also learn certain foods help each other absorb too. So like uh, tomatoes and um, broccoli are a classic pet combination. Yeah. They help you absorb the iron. Yeah, we're probably going to go more into that in February because when we talk about pears, right? 
<laughs> exactly. We pair things together. Yeah. Well, here, I'll show everybody the poop emoji. <laughs> Trying to go off that little emoji <laughs> <laughs> from the chat. <laughs> yep. Right? I guess he works. Yeah, no, he totally works. He totally works. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do you have stress, Emmy? Um, to be quite honest, I have it good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not. Well, I'm just you in my own world. Stress, so, greens yeah. would be a great way to relieve that. That's true. That is true. I found how um, my diet impacts anxiety a lot too that and like making sure movement and um all of those little things like those impact um how we feel and stuff like that I've also noticed sugar um I could feel my attention drop in certain areas hi boomy um I I could feel my attention drop in certain areas when I have sugar or um, anything like that. And then, because sometimes I'm extra dramatic, like when I do have sugar and I can catch that. And it took yeah. me a while to like notice that I could. Oh, thanks, Jacqueline. I'm like trying to, <laughs> it's that like, Maybe I'll do an acrylic version. I'm not sure. <laughs> and this was the one, like, not remembering what it was like. And then this is the one after my cousin dropped the emoji. <laughs> I right? think they both turned out well. Yeah. I think they both turned out well. And I, and the reason why some of these look all ghetto is because I recycle my pizza boxes. And I really, really enjoy and like painting on these because it's, like, so smooth. And the pizza is wrapped in plastic anyway. And so um, that works. And then this was the Christmas tree. We started with green tea, and then um, I wasn't happy that it wasn't green enough. So... Um, I had to use watercolor. There's that. And then, oh, do you want to see a painting I've worked on? Is it around here? I made it for um, some family members. And I, I, I love it. The archival process is probably really lame. Um, because I was just letting myself play. Uh, it's, hold on, it's an adventure. I'm Marie Kondoing my art corner. So you guys aren't seeing all the, all the shit I have everywhere. Luckily, one second, let me go grab it. That's all right. I'll tell them a little bit more about greens while you look for it. All right. How's that? That's okay. good. All right. Okay. All right. So a few other things that I want to tell you about greens before we go is that greens are super high in calcium and so they're really great for our bones as well and a lot of people think only milk is really good for our bones and in reality greens are so awesome for our bones did you find it i did find it oh yeah that's true greens are yeah. these guys oh your owls yes right rebecca they're... what do you think of owls Oh, she really likes she owls. owls. Oh, yeah. does she? I, I had a lot of fun making it. Like, I just, I like, I'm normally not a mixed media person, like with glue and all of that, but I really went to town. I was stressing imperfection and to like really, really have fun. Thank you. And so... Yeah. I just use stuff around the house and put it together because I want the people getting this to, um, well, whoever gets it, to um, just have fun. And yeah. that's what it's just about. So while I was trying to clean my art corner, I wound up 
making that. Like, I don't know, every time I want to clean, I want to do art at the same time. But yeah, yeah, my cousin says, I heard greens have more calcium than milk. Yes, yes. And if depending on how we pair them, they're actually absorbed better too. And it also depends on like, what kind of milk, like different milks absorb differently too. So yeah. So yeah, that that is another wonderful thing about about greens. And I think we have one more thing to tell you about greens. Actually, I'll, I'll give you back too. Yeah, think they're so wonderful, you guys. I could talk about greens all night. Um, <laughs> but they're great for inflammation. So anybody who has like digestive issues, um, you take something to soothe your stomach. Greens are great for that because it's gonna put out that fire naturally. And like IBS and, and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's also great for belly bloat. So does anybody have a bloated belly that they don't like? Greens will make you go away. <laughs> that's that's good to know too. And that makes sense too. And in addition to like an epiphany was just having water and how much the digestive system needs water to like do its yeah. thing. Yes. That's very much so. We we need so much water to keep everything moving and even if we're somewhat even remotely dehydrated, that's why we have headaches is because our brain is literally like, it's like a sponge. And if it doesn't have enough, then it like tightens up. Yeah, so. definitely. And it's like, it's definitely the beauty ingredient for skin, for hair, all yeah. of it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And yeah. anything else? Um, so we're going to be eating our greens this week so that we can let shit go before 2021, right? Yeah. And ultimately, we are going to be detoxing because we were talking about breaking up with habits. And part of breaking up with habits or breaking up with things is to detox. And greens help you detox from that bad relationship you had before with whatever you were eating. Yeah, right. So, that makes sense. Yeah. And, and, and this whole process is to go easy on yourself. Yeah. And um, while you're doing this, and like with it is don't think of it as a diet, but think of it as like what you said last week, crowding out, um, crowding out, um, what did you say? Crowding out the Crow bad habits, right? Yeah. Crowding it out because you're putting other things in place versus saying, I'm taking this out of my diet. Just say, I'm going to put this stuff in and eventually don't have room for those other things. Kind of like you do with your schedule. You put things in that you really want to do and then you crowd out the things that you really don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely. And it could taste good. It doesn't have like healthy stuff doesn't have to taste lame. Like, no, it really no. No, some people can chug down those green smoothies and like be super happy and that's great. I'm not always one of those people, but you can still get your greens and even if you don't like greens is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So. Like I didn't like them because I wasn't raised on them initially, but then I've noticed a difference myself with like my hair has improved, my skin has improved. All of it has improved with consistently getting it in my diet like the last five or six years. And I'm like, I can't even imagine what it would have been like um, yeah. early it on. Been different. Right? It would have yeah. been very different. So what are you going to yeah. talk about on Wellness Wednesday? On Wellness Wednesday, we're going to be talking more about greens, going a little bit more in depth on greens. And we're going to continue with our lovely matcha powder. And we're going to be making a cookie that is done with matcha powder. So that, that's what I'll be doing on Wednesdays, well, this Wednesday, um, which I'll be doing at 7.30 on my channel. So, um, yeah. And then do we want to talk about next week real quick? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So next week, too. And I, I know some of my, some of our friends and family have signed up for our newsletter thing and if you haven't not a newsletter the recipe thing 
we're we're too busy and kind of lazy to give you a whole spiel besides just the recipe. Um, yeah. But yeah, maybe something, but not today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not today. Just easy stuff. So if you feel like making it or what Chrissy makes, um, you get it and you can try it on your own time if you want to try it early or later. Next week is super exciting. It's the color yeah. orange. <laughs> and um, And we're making, we're going to make something out of, date milk and um and was it a hot chocolate I- yeah so we're since we're in December we're, we're kind of going with a hot chocolate wagon for at least a couple of weeks and so yeah we'll be doing an orange date milk hot chocolate so we're using Ayurvedic date milk which is a very traditional thing and we're taking our own little twist on it next week yeah so yeah because that's what we like to do make it different me too. Oh, so. right. oh, a salad. Yes, that sounds wonderful, Jean. Always important to eat our salad. So, all right, you guys. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Um, no, thank you guys for joining. I know everyone's had a really busy day, um, but I'm really proud of you guys for putting your health first and doing a little bit of self-care. And I hope you carry it with you, and I hope you're inspired to bring it with you in all your lunches and all your meals. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, if Jacqueline wants the poop emoji, she can have it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think she can have both of them if she wants. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll make, like, an acrylic version of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are very welcome. We appreciate you guys being here. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I would love to see any of the food that you guys are eating. So if you want to ever take a picture and hashtag healthy chef to order, I'd love to see all your pictures and what you guys are eating these days. And if you guys ever need any advice uh, or anything, any tips on eating greens, just feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, she has tons of recipes on her Insta, too, so. Yeah, Yeah. all right, you guys. Thank you. Well, have have fun, too, having you. Yes, yes. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys back here on Wednesday at 730. All right. Bye. Bye.